Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse, and our second YouTube channel, Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy our content. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, whatever you guys do. We're very, very appreciative. Please keep subscribing keep requesting stuff for us to react to so today i'm going to be reacting to funniest andre tet moments compilation uh right now this guy has blown out and people are watching his stuff responding to his stuff and i thought why not let's see what this will be about so without wasting time let's get into the video back where you fucking started wagey <laughs> Someone has to fucking flip the burgers, dumbass. You're, you're, just, uh, you're the virgin stroller. Uh. <laughs> why did you choose that insult? Why do you call people worms? And it's very, very clear to me, at least, why I call people worms. Worm is a pointless creature. The only reason a worm exists is so that bigger, more important animals can eat something. They don't do anything. They can't see. They sit in the dirt and they just move around in the dirt and they try and hide a little bit and then a bird eats them. And most people live their lives as worms. Most of you are worms. You don't do anything important. You're just living in your shit life, living your little dirt, just sitting there wriggling, hoping an eagle doesn't come along to fuck you up. And if an eagle did come along, you couldn't even defend yourself. A worm has no claws. It can't, hasn't even got, like a skunk can spray smelly piss or something. A worm has zero defensive mechanism. A worm is absolutely and utterly useless. I've never heard of a story of valor that involves a worm. People use animals as insults. They'll say you're a bitch, which is a female dog. I don't think a female dog is that insulting to be. I know female dogs. You can have a female police dog that will charge at bullets, or you can have a fire dog that will run in a burning building. What's wrong about being a female dog? A dog can do something. Being a female worm would be much worse. Are there even female worms? Are worms so shit that they don't even have genders? I'm about to do research in the middle of a Tate speech for the first time in my life. Earthworms are hermaphrodites. This is what I mean. They don't have genders. If you're a worm, you're not even a man or a woman. You're just a worm. If I were to come and knock on your door and say, I've decided I have a sexual attraction to twos, so I'm taking your girlfriend. You could do very little about it. Because you're a worm. Ice in your face, it's freezing cold. And then when we are practicing on the harness, when you pull the harness, you just get the biggest wedgie in history. And then you float in the cold for like 10 minutes, shivering. What's fun about that? Fucking cold. I don't like cold. I, don't want to like I, I wouldn't jump in a lake that's minus five. Fuck, I want to jump out of a plane that's minus five. It's fucking cold. And then I looked around the skydiving room. So I always thought people who jumped out of planes were like badass. Like I imagined the skydiving school would be full of like military types or dudes like me, you know, like supreme specimens of man. But it was actually full of fucking geeks. I'm talking about 20 full grown men sitting around a TV screen, looking at videos of their last jump where they were doing patterns discussing patterns. 20 full grown men look at a TV screen. Hey man, bro, look, yeah, bro, you, we, when you held his hand, you need to do the inverse flip and then all of them running and getting on skateboards. <laughs> and pretending they're doing their pat. Geeks, bruv. I was like, what the fuck is this? You know about this song? Not really. No, 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 no shit. We have no gas, we have four miles in the tank, there's no gas stations. You don't know about this song. Do you know all the words to this song? No. Your full grown man doesn't know all the words to Rapper's Delight. What do you mean? That's not, no one does. Big Bang Hank and Wonder Mike and Master G, they know all the words and I know all the words. You don't stop the rocket to the bang a bang boogie say up jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie to beat. Now what you hear is not a test, I'm rapping to the beat. And me, the groove, and my friends are gonna try to move your feet. You see, I am one return, and I'd like to say hello. To the black, to the white, the red, and the brown, the purple, and yellow. But first, I got a bang bang, the boogie to the boogie say up jump the boogie to the bang bang boogie, let's rock. You don't stop, rock the riddle that'll make your body rock. Now so far, you heard my voice, but I brought one friend along. And next on the mic is my man Luke. Come on, Luke, sing that song. 
Welcome to the real world, Luke. Welcome to big school, Luke. This is stupid. You're stupid. Yep. What? You see what's wrong, right? It's not just me. I'm not going crazy. <sighs> Here we go. Something terrible's happened. I was at dinner. I sat at a table with a full grown man at dinner, full grown man. He looked normal, looked like a normal dude. And we're going through the menu. What do we want to eat? What do we want to eat? Steak, veal, going through the menu. And he sits there and he says, hmm, I think I'll try the sushi. No! <laughs> sushi? You're a sushi eater. <laughs> There's no power in sushi. Literally, what your chopsticks? Oh, chop, 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 chop. Yeah. Look at this power. This is this comes from the food I eat. You're telling me you're gonna get power from sushi? A little piece of floppy fish, some rice in a circle. Raw fish. Yeah, I like it. What do you mean? He doesn't understand. It's about fried chicken, man. Fuck is wrong with you? What? What kind of full-grown adult deliberately? Not on accident, deliberately eat sushi. I caught my brother ordering sushi to the house. Salmonella. Listen, we're jet masters and I demanded fried chicken. Yes. Here, here you are with fucking the weakest food. Do you know who eats sushi? Little fucking soy boys. Little fucking, fucking Democrats. Oh, actually, I'd, I'd like a sushi meal. They do. They don't go out for sushi. They don't go out for fried fucking chicken. What the fuck is wrong with people? There's no power in sushi. And I'm at the guy's house. I've actually known him for a long time. I've known him since school. And we're sitting there chilling. And I was there for about six hours. And he's like, yeah, it'd be nice one day. Anyway, I'm hungry. You want something to eat? I was like, no, nah, I'm fine, bro. So he gets his ass up. It's a full grown man. And he starts to cook himself something to eat. And everybody knows the age old adage. Time is what? Money. Money. That's right. Time is money. You're going to spend time. Preparing food? The last thing you should be doing with your time is cooking. I can't think of a lower ROI activity. Ooh, an onion. Well, let me get the onion. I'm gonna start cooking. Fridge, ooh, an onion, and some lettuce. Now, get a knife, get my knife, cut my onion, start to cut my onion. You're broke! You're fucking poor! Watching Gordon Ramsay, obviously. Eating fucking gummy bears because I'm the top G. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, people. It's my first ever shower on a plane. This is my huge, spacious bathroom. I'm gonna have to try and do this video without getting my massive cock all over the camera. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, Tate's rich, tall, strong, smart. Surely you can't have a big dick too. Yep, sorry, sorry to break it to you. If you were to see my dick, it would hurt you more than seeing my bank balance. You guys would be devastated. So I'm gonna try my best to not get my massive wang on camera for my airplane shower. I am gonna get naked. I'm not getting in my fucking clothes, am I? Right. Trying to avoid mirrors. If I'm not dressed. So, this is the shower aboard Emirates First Class. This is a little shower. I don't even want a shower, but I'm like, would you like a shower, sir? I'm going to be a pussy and say, I got a seat. I can sit down and have a shower. All right, I'm scared this water is going to come out cold because all showers start cold. I don't like cold. So I'm press on. Turn it hot. How's it not fucking working? A button. All right, I couldn't turn the shower on. It's not working. And I just got dressed to go get the lady. And then I thought, I bet it's because I haven't closed the door because I don't want to get cold. So they're gonna force me to get cold. So I'm using my ninja brain now. I bet it wouldn't turn on because the door wasn't closed. So we close the door. 
door closed. Nah, I should have fucking known. Sneaky fucking Emiratis. Right. Shower time. Shit, don't have any soap. Fuck. Opening the door. Turn the shower off. That's cool. Avoiding the fucking mirrors. What do we have here? Shampoo and body wash and soap. It's a little bit cramped, I won't lie. But we are on a fucking plane. I've got a timer of how much time I'm allowed left of water. The main really difference between having a shower and on a plane or on the ground is that when you have a shower on a plane, you're in the air. Think about it. Technically, I'm flying right now. Whereas if I was having a shower on the ground, I wouldn't be flying. Think about that. That's the main difference. Right, that's the body wash tested out. Let's test out the seat. The seat works. right on the edge of burning my skin forever and feeling okay. So I'm going to use my iron fucking yoga flame power to endure the last two bars of water I have on maximum heat. Steaming up in here. Steam. Top. Jeep. Let him know. I don't understand how these are the funniest. He actually, I'm sure someone has a better video compiled. Otherwise, um, I don't know. I, I just didn't find it very, very funny. Would love to try the bath on a plane though. That one's. But I love how him and this other guy were playing at the airport while one is on this. Um, what's it called? Forgotten it, and they compete while, while they were running. Whatever that was, uh, that was interesting to watch. I would do that with my sister. I would definitely do that. That looked fun. Otherwise, um, I've actually watched his other videos, and he says some um, some knowledgeable stuff. And um, I don't think he was saying much in this because it's just clips that i've gotten and been put together here so i don't know you guys check him out let me know what you think about him otherwise i like his other stuff not these short clips put together his other stuff is actually really really interesting if there's something like this you want us to have to drop the link down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video